what's up guys? I've got another quick update on my SaaS Adventure course that I'm releasing. So I am up to, I believe it's close to 360 uh, people who've signed up to be notified when the course is released. I believe it's 360. Let me actually check on that just a second. Damn it. Gotta log in. Okay. Alrighty, 370. That is pretty cool. Let me uh, zoom a little bit closer. Maybe you can see that. 370 people who have signed up to be notified once the course is released. So that is super cool. Um, and then I also wanted to give you an update. So I uh, finished up the dashboard for the course and it's looking really cool. I then uh, uh, promoted a tweet saying, hey, here's what the dashboard is going to look like. And I provided a code pin link. So I will also provide that link below the video and you can check out what the dashboard is going to look like. It is pretty cool. So uh, one thing that I probably want to tell somebody else who is creating a course, kind of give you a little uh, tip for something that I learned this week. So my videos tended to be a little bit long. So maybe even uh, you know, like an hour or so. And sometimes whenever I watch a course and I'm like, I see an hour video and I'm like, oh, that's so daunting. I don't want to spend a whole hour watching a video. So what I decided to do was in my dashboard, I decided to split those videos up into separate sections. So in the dashboard of the app, you can actually uh, click on different sections of the video and it will skip to that specific part. So uh, let me go ahead and show you with the camera what this looks like. It's actually pretty cool. So let me go to the dashboard right here. Let me make sure this is focused for you. All right, so this is the dashboard. Uh, you can see we have the video right there. And then you can see that we have these different sections that you can actually click on. So sorry, this might be a little shaky. So you can see that uh, you can start off with the brainstorming section. Uh, creating the logo and the homework and then it also shows the completion for each video. So I thought that was pretty cool because uh, then it seems like you can finish each separate section at different times. You don't have to finish the whole video all in one sitting. So that is all I wanted to cover in this video. I just wanted to give you a quick update and let you know how everything is going. So like I said so far I'm at 370 emails of people who have signed up to be notified once the course is released. So I'm going to continue to create these videos and show you each of these milestones that I hit. And even when I release the course, I'll let you know hopefully how many sales I get. And then some of the marketing tactics that I'm going to use that you could possibly use whenever you create a course in the future. So uh, if you do have any questions for me, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And I would love to answer them in the next video. But until then, I hope you guys had a great Labor Day weekend and I will see you in a future video.